Welcome to The Road to Brazil, presented by Castrol. I'm your host, Alan Hopkins. We are in Kingston, Jamaica, and behind me is Jamaica's National Stadium, otherwise known as The Office, where the U.S. looks to do work against the Reggae Boys in the first of three World Cup qualifiers in the span of only 11 days. But before we take a look ahead, let's take a look back on how the U.S. got here. Back in March, the U.S. got their qualifying campaign on track with a memorable win in Snowy, Colorado, thanks in large part to a goal by Captain Clint Dempsey. That was followed by a gritty scoreless draw against Mexico in the Estadio Azteca for a valuable point on the road. Now let's take a look at the hexagonal standings. With the fourth round of matches just underway, Mexico, with the game in hand, is the new leader sitting on six points from four matches. Panama is in second place on five points, followed by Costa Rica, the U.S. and Honduras all level on four points apiece. And Jamaica rounds out the group with two points. A trio of matches are set to wrap up match day four. In addition to the first installment of U.S. Jamaica, Mexico stays on the road traveling to Panama. Meanwhile, Costa Rica plays host to Honduras. The men's national team arrived in Kingston on Monday, an unprecedented five days ahead of Friday's World Cup qualifier. Head coach Jurgen Klinsmann explains why it was so important for his team to arrive early. I think it was important for us to get a day earlier here to adjust to the climate, you know, the, the heat, the humidity. It's an island climate. It's totally different to Washington, D.C., even if it was hot in Washington, too. Um, and also kind of get the, the players right away kind of refocused. We're going to face a, a Jamaican team that is with their backs against the wall. They lost uh, last night against Mexico. We were at the game. Uh, we could see, you know, uh, um, what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. Uh, helps us from a scouting perspective. But most importantly, I think it gives the players time to adjust to Jamaica and uh, to understand, you know, how much is at stake on Friday night. You know, I think uh, it was a good decision by Jurgen to come down a day early. You know, um, you know, get used to the weather. You know, know our surroundings. Um, you know, just things like that, you know, I think all, all helps, you know, the team, especially the guys that have not been down here and played against Jamaica. Uh, I know they played them, you know, before, uh, but this is a different, a different animal. You know, this is qualifying, you know, they're, they're kind of, you know, biting the bullet a little bit. So, you know, this is something, this game is going to be very, it's very important to both teams, you know. So uh, it's, it's something that, uh, yeah, I, I agree with Jurgen with bringing the team down here a day early. It's always hard to tell how a team's going to react. You know, we like, we, you always like to think, um, you you want to you want to take on a team after they have a defeat because because they'll be down and out. But and hopefully that's the case. But they may have uh, some resolve about them and and some some leadership that kind of motivates them to uh, want to get the result against us on Friday. So um, you know we're, we're not sure what to expect, but we'll prepare for everything. Um, we know that we're the we're we're the U.S. and and teams come gunning for us. And no matter where they are uh, in the table, I, I think it's a scalp for them. You know, to, to, to knock us off, as we saw last time, you know, they, um, we came down here, they beat us 2-1, and you would have thought they won the World Cup because that's how much it meant to them. So, um, you know, I think we'll be prepared for that. Now they, they badly, badly need to get three points against us. Now we are here, we won three points. Um, so what happens usually is, you know, there will be a very tense uh, start of the game um, because maybe they are so much with their backs against the wall, you know, they're going to be very physical, you know, very, very uh, aggressive in a way. We faced it already in September with a lot of brutal fouls uh, provoked all over the place. And uh, so, so it's, it's down then to everybody to keep their nerves, you know, stay calm and just respond the right way. And uh, uh, we just need to understand exactly what our job is. You know, we want to play our game here. We want to get the ball going, playing simple one-two touches. A lot of the good stuff we did against Germany. I think if we get that uh, executed on the field, then we have a very, very good chance to get three points on Friday night. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, you know, playing against, in front of their fans, you know, with, you know, the reggae boys, the music. You know, last time, last time I think they had... Uh, uh, Beanie, Man, Beanie Man come out and perform a little bit before the game. So, I mean, there's always something going on when you play against Jamaica. So, there's always different uh, things uh, happening. But uh, as long as we stay focused and, you know, um, worry about you know, ourselves and how we want to approach the game, you know, I think we'll be okay. Uh, it's, it's huge because it sets the tone for Seattle and for Salt Lake City. 
And I think if we convince people on Friday night that we're on the right track, that we get a result here, uh, uh, this, this is like the, the foundation that you need then going into two home games, you know, where the fans are waiting for their players and want to, you know, that the, the support will be tremendous in both cities, Seattle and Salt Lake. So we want to we wanna do that on Friday night to kind of build that foundation for the, those two games then. And, and we're going to shoot for maximum amount of points. That's, that's our job. It looks daunting at the beginning when you have those, those few away games, uh, but you also know that in, in a group situation, it's always going to come back around in your favor, and this is the time that it's going to be in our favor, um, and it's up to us to take advantage of it. And we, we know what it's like to protect our home, our home field advantage, and we'll do that uh, in the coming days and weeks, but get those three points on Friday night. That'll be a, a perfect stepping stone for us. Give us the motivation and, the, and that feel-good factor, which is important to kind of get home and get the, get the other results. If you're looking for more in-depth analysis after national team matches, the Castro Index is your home. U.S. Soccer's official performance index shows you exactly how every U.S. player performed and rated during each match. A reminder, Be In Sport is your TV home for U.S. Jamaica on Friday night with kickoff set for 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. You can also go online to ussoccer.com's match tracker or via Twitter at US Soccer to follow all the action online from Kingston. That'll do it for this episode of The Road to Brazil, presented by Castrol. I'm your host, Alan Hopkins, and we'll see you next time.